Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, today's look is going to be a wash and go with some top rated products from naturallycurly.com. Um, some of them I've actually been using, so I really do like them already. Some of them I have been trying already, and some methods I hadn't tried before. So if you want to see how I got these super defined curls, stay tuned and see how I got the look. First, I'm going to start by cleansing my hair with the Diva Curl No Poo Decadence Zero Lather Ultra Moisturizing Milk Cleanser. Um, it's for super curly hair, and it has ingredients such as trufa milk and quinoa, which adds maximum moisture back to the hair. Some people don't like the formula, but I do. So um, I will go ahead and rinse that out. And now I'm going to use my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, Strength and, and Restore Treatment Mask. Um, I mixed it with my Diva Curl One Condition Decadence uh, Ultra Moisturizing Milk Conditioner as well for a deep condition. Um, both of these products, as far as I know, are cruelty free. Um, the Shea Moisture, it has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, and no petroleum in it, which is really good. Um, we don't want any of that in our hair. Back in the day we did, but, you know, we've come a long way from there. So as you can see, I am now getting ready to put my hair in two high buns in order to do my deep condition. Uh, I am doing the first bun just to kind of, you know, hold, hold the moisture, have moisture retention. And I am doing the second one, just kind of combing through it to get, you know, all the kinks out. And then I am going to make sure all of the hair is kind of in that bun. And I will then put on a good old shower cap. Um, you can get those from the dollar store. You can get them from Walmart, wherever you get your hair products from. Sally's Beauty. And, you know, move on from there. So after enjoying some Ratchet TV for about 30 minutes, I'm going to rinse out the deep conditioner and then I'm going to go to my leave-in and I'm actually going to use the Camille Rose Naturals Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard as my leave-in. I've never done this before, so this is a new method for me. And as you can see, it smells heavenly. It kind of smells like fruity pebbles, um, some type of cereal. Um, I love it. So I'm just working that in just to get every strand covered. And I'm also going to use some Jamaican black castor oil for my edges because, you know, a girl been stressed out and my edges is, you know, non-existent. Um, then I'm going to go in with my styler, which is the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. Um, this smells like Skittles to me. Um, it's an ultra hold moisturizing and defining gel, so it doesn't flake on me anyways. I don't know about anyone else, uh, but it works for me and it gives my curls really good defined curls. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my Myel Organics uh, Flexible Hold Edge Gel and my handy dandy toothbrush and try to get those little edges, you know, together you know, um, just comb them down a little bit. They don't have to be perfect because, honestly, I was tired. And with my handy-dandy uh, diffuser, I got it from Sally Beauty. I am going to diffuse my hair, and I am just holding it up to each section of my hair. I was kind of being impatient at the time, so, you know... I did my makeup for about 30 minutes and let it air dry and then I did the rest with the diffuser but it still takes a while for my hair to dry so you know if you don't have the patience for it I don't suggest you know doing your hair at night but since it is winter I do prefer to do my hair or my wash and goes at least at night so I am not you know going out with sopping wet hair because you know Nobody's trying to get sick over here. I'm little and I can't handle sickness too well. Um, so just keep diffusing your hair until it's completely dry because if it's not completely dry and you try to pick it out, you're going to have total frizz. 
and admittedly I probably had a little bit and I actually need a haircut um it's kind of uneven so don't judge me on what my hair looks like it's there's the back it's a little bit shorter in the back um you know I had to get it cut at the beginning of the year but you know I am trying to make it work I am about ready for a diva cut so that's what it looks like ultra defined I mean I love my coils to be defined so if you have 3c 4a hair uh, some of these products might work for you so I think my wash and go came out pretty bomb um, I had never used a conditioner as my leave-in so I'm liking the results it's giving me a lot of definition um, it's really soft it looks hydrated so I'm really happy with the results so if you want to see more tutorials of natural hair let me know down in the comments I usually do makeup so this is something new for me a first so again if you want to see more like comment and subscribe and let me know bye